my stars, it's going to be my lucky day. So I should watch your step when you're crossing the road. Yeah. Oh, some sort of special occasion, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I thought so. You've washed your neck. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, darts match at the British Legion. Oh, that nonsense. I don't see the point, George. It's on the front end of the dart. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, George, does it never occur to you that I might like to come out with you one evening? Well, you don't play darts. Look, George, London has got a lot more than that to offer. I mean, there's the opera, ballet, theatre, cinema, train spotting, rooting through old dustbins, anything. Well, I'm taking you out. <laughs> oh, yes, a festival of Britain. <laughs> you know, one of these days, George, you're going to come back here and you're going to find me gone. Some other man will have snapped me up. <laughs> That's all I ever get in it, promises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, I don't know, women. Hey, tell me something. Would you always be nagging at me to take you out? No, I would not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, there you are, you see. I mean, she's always telling me. Yeah. <laughs> dash, a mere dash of tarragon, a little hint of cinnamon, and a suspicion, no more, of basil. Basil? Yeah, one of the nicest fellas that ever got shredded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, come on. Come on, Joe. Just look at that, eh? Just look at that. Eat your heart out, Fanny Craddock. Shall I put the tomato sauce on the table? Don't you dare. Mmm, it smells nice. What is it? Uh, well, it's an old Polynesian recipe. Uh, baked long pig and banana leaves. What? Well, actually, I've had to use chicken. Do you know, Tesco's didn't have one missionary left on the shop. They're not exactly famous for their banana leaves. That is true. So I had to use lettuce. So it's chicken and salad? Yes. Mm. Tomato sauce. Oh, that's it. Fine. You, you, just let me to do it all by myself. Do you want me to help you? Oh, go on. Just push off. <laughs> hey, you're late coming back. What kept you? Oh, the usual thing. Five minutes before knocking off time, old Wilkins comes out with a stack of reports to file. I'd have told him what he could do with his reports. Yeah, I did. That's what kept me. <laughs> hey, they're nice. Oh, yeah, they're for you. They're on the hall table. Really? Oh. From an admirer. Uh, the chicken will be ready in five minutes, all right? Hasn't he got a name? Uh, all right, Fred, the chicken, will be really good. <laughs> that's all it says, just from an admirer. There's no name. There's a name on the envelope. Yeah, Chrissy Plummer, that's me. Look, I don't even recognise the handwriting. Actually, can I have a look? Because I know a little bit about this sort of thing, you see. You see there? You see the loop there on the wire? Mm. Now, that is very, very common in a certain type of man. Jack the Rip used to use it. Oh, quiet. <laughs> oh, I think it's really romantic. Yeah, so do I. He's most probably a very nice guy. Well, I'm not so sure. <laughs> the bell. <laughs> Don't you like them? Well, if Robert Redford sent them, yeah. If old Roper sent them, no way. I just want to know who it is. Perhaps they're from Larry. What? Flowers? No, it's not his style. It's wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to accept the fact that you've got a secret admirer who's most probably got his binoculars trained on you at this very moment. Oh, that's it. You can have them. I don't want your car stops. OK, come on, girls. Come and get it. Oh, I'll let Mrs Roper have them. Hey, hey, don't go and wash your hands now. You do this every time dinner's ready. You come in, you wash your hands, and it gets cold. Now, it's not fair on men, it's not fair on Fred. Fred? Fred, Arthur, Bill, who knows? <coughs> the unknown chicken. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps he'd like the flowers. Oh. <laughs> do you know, the sad thing about it is he never knew he was going to be superbly cooked by me. It might have given him a little piece at the end. He's got a little piece at the end. <laughs> Shut up. All that talk about missionaries and long pig. Ah, I was only joking. Right, who wants Fred's leg, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're lovely, dear. Thank you ever so much. And you really don't know who they're from? No, just from an admirer. I mean, that could be half the men in the country. Well, yes. <laughs> I don't suppose you've noticed any strange men hanging about? No, dear. Only George. <laughs> I did wonder if it could be that new milkman. I mean, he's made a pass at every woman in the street. Uh, not every woman, dear, no. Uh, well, every young woman. Uh, every, uh, every... It could be the Coleman. I mean, he's always chatting up the women, isn't he? No, he's not, no. Not many of them at all, no. <laughs> oh, it's all right, dear. I know I'm past it. George keeps telling me so. Well, that's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, if you had your hair done... I had it you... done this morning. <laughs> and it really looks nice, which absolutely proves my point. And I'm sure Mr Roper thinks so. And, I mean, even if he doesn't, what does he know? 
Should we get back to the flowers, love? Good idea. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my best flowers out and I'm going to put them in the window. <laughs> Perhaps that'll catch the milkman's eye. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really daft. Fancy giving a chicken a name just before you eat it. Yes, I agree with you. And so does Lottie, too. What? Lottie Lettuce, what a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Roper was thrilled to bits with the flowers. Don't expect she gets a lot off old Roper. Well, we didn't discuss that, but she was thrilled to bits with the flowers. <laughs> Listen, have you found out yet, um, who might have sent you the flowers? No. I wonder if it could be someone from the office. Oh, yeah, it might be, uh, what's her name? Uh, the one uh, who wears the tweeds with a small moustache. Miss Butcher? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, accounts. Uh, Grimes, Mr. Grimes. But he's over 60. Oh, I tell you what, they're the worst, you know. Quick could write a job with their pension book, sling over the back of their wheelchair and off into the night. <laughs> hey, it could be Ginger, the office boy. No, double writing. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, you know, you've had some very weird boyfriends. It's most probably one of them. Right. Yes. <laughs> to write you poetry. You know, the one with the big nose. Clive? Anyway, he didn't have a big nose. Just had a small face. <laughs> anyway, he went all Harry Krishna. Tom? No. Trevor? Never. Could be Bernard. He used to quite fancy me. Oh, yeah, he was always around here with his tongue hanging out on the doormat. Do you know, I tell you what, I never knew girls kept little black books. I mean, that's against nature. Well, I do. Hey, hey, what are those little stars there by the side of the name? Mind your own business. <laughs> I know what they're for. No, they're not. <laughs> they're just the number of times yeah. I went out with them. Oh. <laughs> I can't <laughs> think of it. Bernard was always sending you flowers and chocolates and things. Hey, and what's that there? L-H-O-T-M. Left hand on thigh merchant. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't, I haven't seen Bernard for ages. Well, maybe he's trying to re-establish contact. Yeah, something about you, you know, has brought the memory flooding back. Yeah? You know, a, a faded rose, a snatch of some romantic song, a pair of knickers in the glove compartment, you know. <laughs> well, why don't you ring him up and ask him if he sent them? Oh, I don't like to. Besides, he might not still be at this number. <laughs> Cynthia, can you shut him up just for a minute? The phone's ringing. Hello. Hello, Bernard. Who's that? It's Chrissy. Chrissy? Oh, Chrissy. Hello. It's ages since we had a chat. How are things? Fine. Listen, have you sent me any flowers? Flowers? Well, not for 18 months. Have you only just got them? <laughs> no, I mean recently. No, but um, I'm quite willing to. Hey, um, look, Chrissy, why don't we get together? I come round to your place, pick you up. It'd be quite like old times. Um, it's uh, still in very good condition. It's uh, dark blue. It's got two canvas handles on either side so you can lift it. Something about the carry cock. Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's second hand, of course. Um, well, I mean, we bought it second hand, so it'd be third hand when you, um... Oh, oh, fourth hand, maybe. And then we could go to that little bistro. You know the one we used to go to? Well, it's got canvas handles on so I can lift it. <laughs> ah, well, um... The carry cock. You see, um... The wife wants to sell it now that the twins have grown out of it. Bye, Bernard. No, no, Chrissy, now listen. Honestly, she doesn't really understand. No, this. but I do. Uh, yeah, but Chrissy, look, now look. We had, a, we had a thing going together. I mean, don't let's throw it all just because it's a uh, white plastic line with a, a steel frame. Right <laughs> Any luck? Not unless you want to buy a carry cot. <laughs> wonder if Colin could have sent them. Oh, I was robbed, Mildred, robbed. I should have been runner-up. Now, that, that fellow who chalks up the score, he's got it in for me. Well, I'm not surprised. You've had a dart through his hand twice. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Go on. No sympathy. <laughs> All right, George. I'm sorry. You're such a rotten darts player. You resent me popping across to the British Legion, don't you? I don't care if you pop across to the Foreign Legion. <laughs> now, what have you been doing to my best flower vase? Oh, yeah, I was mixing a bit of polyfiller in it. <laughs> it's awful and rock hard. Well, that's all right, put in short flowers. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can cut the stalks down. Here, have you been throwing away good housekeeping money? They were given to me, George. Oh, come off it. It'll give you from an admirer. <clears throat> what? I see. All right, Mildred, who is it? George, it... It's that new milkman, isn't it? He's not particular. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, who is it, then? 
I don't know what Now, come about. off it. I'm not that daft. Out with it. Now, who is it? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Something. It's Joe's turn to do the tidying up this week. Oh, I know it was, but do you remember you swapped? Because she did your turn to do last week's laundry. No, 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 no. That was in exchange for my turn at the washing up, which was originally your turn, but you changed the beds instead. Yeah, well, whose turn was it to write out the rotor? Yours. But I said I'd do it instead <coughs> if you went to it. Oh, forget it, forget it, forget it. <coughs> Listen, Joe, it's your turn to do the tidying up. Yeah, no. Oh, oh. going to do it when you two have gone to the pub. Oh, are we going to the pub? Well, it's your turn. <laughs> Post has just arrived. Huh. Only gas and electric, do. Oh, great, thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, they're not final demands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this was left on the step for you. Oh. I thought I'd better bring it straight up in case it was important. Oh, I recognise that handwriting. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's that fella. I don't know. Oh, chocolates. Oh, from an admirer. Quite the modo strikes again. <laughs> the bells. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't. I don't like this sort of thing. I mean, for all I know, they could be... Well, they might be... Drugged? Yes. No, Cadbury's don't do drug chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you think it's romantic, you can have them. I'm on a diet. Well, I don't want them. Um, well, I think I'll... Um... Oh, Mrs Roper, would you like them? Oh, no, dear, no. No, I couldn't. Re no, no, re no, really. I mean, it's such a lovely box. All right, then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Was... Oh, um... Could I have the card as well? <laughs> oh, come on, Chrissy. What's it matter who sent them to you? I mean, you never know, it might have been me. Well, all right, it wasn't, but it might have been somebody as nice as me. I doubt it. Frankly, so do I. <laughs> Seriously, though, Robin, do you really think that it could be someone as good looking as, well, you? Well, it's possible. <laughs> Somebody with the same sort of personality as you. Well, you never know your luck. That's all I need, a big-headed twit sending me flowers and chocolates. <laughs> now, come on, Chrissy. Now, listen, let's put a male mind on this, right? Let's forget intuition and guessing and apply reason and deduction. Now, I've been giving this some considerable thought, and there is only one logical conclusion. What? It could have been anybody. And that's the male mind? No, what I mean is he signed himself an admirer, so the chances are he doesn't know you. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, what I mean is he's a stranger. So it could be anybody. Well, it could be anybody in this very pub. <laughs> oh, drink up and let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm torn. I mean, the caramel creams are lovely, but so is the hazelnut crunch. What do you think, George? Yeah, I'll find out, you know. I'll find out who's been sending you cows and chocolates. You don't have to tell me, I'll find out. You could try asking me. Who is it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> have a new girl. Yeah, you're enjoying this, aren't you? George, what nonsense, of course I'm. There yes, you are, you're enjoying this. Well, let me tell you something, madam. You'll be sorry. Just because I've got iron self-control doesn't mean I can't lose my temper. And when I do lose my temper, there'd be blood on the moon. George, <laughs> we're communicating. Eh? You were talking to me. No, I'm not. I'm telling you off. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going for a drink. Mm. Mm. Turkish delight. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah? Who are you? I'm Bernard. Do you mind if I come in? Hey, hey, just a minute, just a minute. Who are they for, eh? Who are they for? I don't see that's any of your business. They're for your fancy bit, aren't they? You sent the sun before, didn't you? Oh, yes, I did, as a matter of fact. Now, would you mind standing out of the way? You've got a nerve. You're not coming in here. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Well, I'm just going upstairs. Oh, hello, Chrissy. Hello, Bernard. Uh, I'll go on up. No, you stay here. I've, uh, 
got some flowers and chocolates. And a wife and twins. Goodbye, Bernard. <laughs> oh, 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 you did phone me for just, just a minute. I wanted a word with him. He's the one who's been sending Mildred flowers and chocolates. Well, he has. Bernard? Well, someone has from an admirer. No, someone's been sending them to me. Well, you as well. No, only me. Yeah, and she didn't want them. So I gave them to Mrs. Roper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but she said... <laughs> Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a quick drink. Uh, no, I didn't go. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd better stay here in case your secret admirer decides to send you something else. <laughs> what? Well, you know, a diamond necklace or a yacht, maybe. <laughs> well, now you never know. <laughs> Have a chocolate, George. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't mind if I do. Very nice, I'm sure. <laughs> What's got into you? I've, uh, I've been communicating with her upstairs. <laughs> I see. You haven't got an admirer, have you? <laughs> I never said I had. You jumped to that conclusion. That's all fairy tale stuff, that is, isn't it? That's in your mind. That's what kids do, isn't it? You make up imaginary friends. <laughs> ah, I should have known. Why should anyone in their right mind send you for... <laughs> Mildred? Go away. <laughs> Now, don't, don't start the waterworks. I mean, you, boy, you did lead me on a bit, didn't you? Well, I mean, can you blame me? I mean, when have you ever given me anything? Paid me any little attentions? I mean, a, a woman likes to be reminded occasionally that she is a woman. Well, yeah. Well, you're a woman, Mildred. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, let's not take any votes on that, George. There's no need to take that attitude. After all, I have given you the best years of my life. The best? If those are the best, what are the rest going to be like? I think I'll go for that drink, Mildred. You! Oh. <laughs> well, I feel a bit sorry for Bernard, cos maybe his wife really doesn't understand him. Look, they've got twins. You must have understood something. <laughs> I tell you what, Jay, you've done a very good job here, you know. You've moved the dust around very nicely. I mean, there wasn't any on there before, was there? Look at that. <laughs> Well, no one would have noticed if you haven't made a clean mark. Anyway, dust is nature's way of telling you to move about occasionally. <laughs> I'll tell you what, one day you'll make somebody a wonderful slut. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Um, can I speak to Chrissy Plummer, please? Oh, it's for you. Who is it? Who are you? Well, my name is Alan, but she doesn't actually know me. I was just phoning to see if she got the flowers and chocolates all right. It's him. The bells. <laughs> uh, I'll hand you over. Uh, no, I won't. Uh, uh, will you just hang on a sec, please? He says his name's Alan, and you don't know him. I don't know anyone called Alan. And his story's true. <laughs> just a sec. Ask him what he's playing at. Um, Alan, uh, what are you sort of, um, you know? <laughs> Nothing, honestly. I'd, 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 I've just seen her once or twice in the White Swan uh, and, and around, and uh, I thought, well, uh, d d flowers, and that would be a good way of breaking the ice, getting to know her. He's seen you in the pub and he fancies you. <laughs> well, why didn't you say hello? <laughs> then why didn't you say hello, Alan? <laughs> um, I, I, I didn't like to. She, she's often with friends, and there's a rather scruffy type in a striped jersey. <laughs> I'm not her boyfriend. I just have a room here. Listen, ask him what he looks like. What do you... <laughs> i tell you what, Alan. i tell you what. Why don't you come round here, say, in about half an hour, you know? Give her a chance to get her teeth in, get her curlers out. <laughs> all right? Oh, yes, fine. Thank See you. See you then. All right. Bye. Bye. What did you do that for? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ran out of beer, have they? No, uh... I didn't go. I went for a walk instead and did a bit of thinking. Thinking? You? <laughs> well, you know, about what you said, not paying you any attention, that sort of thing. Well, there's a grain of truth in that, Mildred, and, well, I've, I've got you those. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, don't get emotional. They're only flowers, that's all. Um... Oh, and after all the things I said yeah, well, to you... Well, steady on. <laughs> I can't win. It's waterworks either way, isn't it? Oh, look. You've even put a little card in with them. Hey? <laughs> to Granny. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, the cemetery! I don't know why 
you bothering to dolly yourself up if you're going to hide in the kitchen? Well, I might come out when I've seen what he looks like. Well, supposing he's ugly? Then I've emigrated. What, in the last half an hour? Look, you invited him. You can get rid of him. <laughs> hey, to New Zealand. Ah, hello. Alan? Yes. Ah, oh, come in. <laughs> I'm the uh, scruffy type in the striped jersey. <laughs> OK, sit yourself down. <laughs> listen, listen, just relax, you know. Make yourself at home, cos Chris is spying on you from the kitchen. What? Don't look, no, don't look. <laughs> so, Alan, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I've been in London a couple not of... Not so loud, not so loud. <laughs> Sorry, Weeks. Um, um, I, I have a flat on the next road. You may have noticed my Lotus Land Park outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, like I said, I, I, I don't know many people around here. And uh, when I saw Chrissy, uh, you share with her? Only the bills. <laughs> oh, good. I, I mean, it's only her name on the bell push. That's where I got it from. I saw her coming in one day. She really is one of the most attractive girls I've ever met. I like him. <laughs> and like I said, to, to, to break up the ice, I... Th I think you've uh, already done that. Hello. Hello. Hello, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind me saying the flowers and chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> 